Hi, ako si Pax. In this episode, we're gonna have a little bit of fun and nostalgia dahil pag-uusapan natin ang 10 most memorable Pinoy guitar solos. Now, I'm not gonna say of all time because I plan to make more videos like this per decade. So, ito yung una at sisimulan natin sa dekadang kung saan halos lahat tayo started picking up the guitar. That is probably around 2000 to 2010. Ito yung panahon na hindi pa usong YouTube. So, we watched a lot of TV, nagpapaburn pa lang tayo ng CDs at naghahanap ng tabs. You get the idea? These guitar solos are so famous na kaya natin silang kantayin hanggang sa video ke. Ready na kayo? Simulan natin sa isang song by Join the Club. This song was released in 2005 and it is a very, very sad song. And I think yung bandang ito ang isa sa mga pioneer ng sawi or emo songs sa Pilipinas. The solo in this song is so melodic and heartbreaking kasi it has a harmonized section that almost sounds like a rondalia sa isang malungkot na kondiman. Very creative. It's one of my favorites actually. Here is Nobela by Join the Club. The next song was released in 2000, so medyo older band yung nagplay nito, Wolfgang. And in my opinion, this is one of the fastest solos we had that made it to the radios. So this solo is played by Manuel Legarda, and the song is Halik ni Judas. The next one is a cheesy song by Sponge Cola, pero unique ito in its own way dahil yung kanta na ito ay may pulsating rhythm. Alam nyo na? Grabe, I listened to this song so many times that I developed the perfect pitch for F sharp. Ten, ten. So, this song was released in 2006. Now, hindi mahirap yung solo nito, but it is very clever kasi this is one of the few solos that uses the half part of the chorus to kick in the solo. So, surprise ka. It's simple yet so powerful and every time Armo plays this live, nababaliw talaga yung mga tao. It's very iconic. So, here's Toliro by Sponge Cola. Now let's get to Shred Territory. Rocksteady. Okay, lahat ng songs nila ay may shred ni Juven Pelingon. Hindi ko alam kung napronounce ko yun ng tama. And when I was a kid, I didn't even dare to play solos kasi lightning fast talaga. But yet, umabot yun sa radios. Now this song ay para sa mga kumukuha lang ng tempo upang sabihin sa iyo. Released in 2007, here's Lagi Mo Lang Akong Dinededma by Rocksteady. The next one is a song na I think one of the best written songs in the Philippines of all time. Hindi ko alam kung sinulat ba ito ni Rico Blanco at pinlalo niya na tutugtugin ito sa lahat ng sports fest at intrams ng high school. 
this solo is very special kasi I don't think nakarinig na ako ng solo na similar to this before it went out in 2005. It's not super technical but it takes a lot of practice para masanay ka dun sa wide stretches. Tapos meron itong tapped harmony section na sobrang hirap gayahin. I salute you Mike Elgar. So by River Maya, liwanag sa dilim. Okay, before we continue to the second half of the video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. May Facebook page din ako if you want to get updated kapag may bagong videos ako. Alright, back to our list. The next one is one of my favorite songs as a teenager. This is a really good song and super hard to play kasi number one, mabilis. And number two, everything is so loud. So mahirap itong sifrahin. Halos walang accurate na tab noon for this song. This is from the album Maharot by Kamikaze, released in 2006. At yung kakaiba sa song na ito ay the solo comes in after the first chorus. So hindi yun typical. It's very unpredictable. Now what I love about Joe Malino's playing is makaskas yung solos niya but yet his note choices are very emotional. At nung high school, kung kaya mo tong tugtugin, sobrang cool mo. Here's Chixilog by Kamikaze. Itong kantang ito naman is a Battle of the Band standard. So this is the debut song ng bandang binuo ni Bamboo Manyalak when he came back to the Philippines. This song is the anthem of the mid-2000s. Lahat ng bata sa kalsada kinakanta to from the intro, verses, chorus, rap, drum solo, you name it. This song has it all. And the guitar solo uses a... Wah! Sobrang cool! It was written by Ira Cruz. Sobrang effective ng solo na ito despite it just using simple pentatonic notes. Dito ako nagkaroon ng awakening na solos don't have to be complicated. Solos must take the song to the next level. Released in 2005, here's Hallelujah by Bamboo. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi pwedeng wala sa list yung pambansang intro ng Pilipinas. Alam nyo na. And despite this song becoming a meme, the solo is actually well written. It gets more interesting kasi kaliwete si Alden Acosta. So, when he plays, he plays her right-handed guitar na baligtad din pati yung strings. So, here's Magbalik by Kalia Lili. Siyempre, hindi ko makakalimutan ang isa sa pambansang banda ng Pilipinas. Para kay ni Edgar. Darius Semana for me is a good gateway to different guitar techniques. Despite para kay ni Edgar being regarded as canto or tambay music, I think they deserve more recognition kasi sobrang varied ng tugtugan nila and they nail it every time. I know para kay ni Edgar is a rock band but the song that made it to this list is an acoustic song. And released in 2005, Gitara by Paroke and Edgar. And this song has two guitar solos. Yung una, yung after the second chorus.
and the dreaded ending. Actually, recently ko lang din nalaman kung ano yung tamang notes when Darius released a tutorial in YouTube. Here's a link. Quick trivia, this solo is actually in reference sa ending ng More Than Words by Extreme. Listen to it. It heavily inspired this solo. Lastly, well, this list is not arranged in order kung alin yung best. Pero in my opinion, this song by the Itchy Worms is one of the timeless songs that I think we will sing for the next decades. Kasi as you grow older, the more you understand this song, the pain of losing someone you love. Ooh. Alam mo yung iyak na iyak ka na drowning yourself sa alcohol tapos papasok yung solo para waratin talaga yung feelings mo. It starts with a pentatonic run and breaks with the strong bend sa major third ng C. Now, Chino Singson is not only a creative guitar solo writer, pero pati comping din. Sometimes his chords are much more challenging than his solos. But I guess everyone will agree that Itchy Worms are gods of radio-friendly music. Kasi ang ganda ng rhythm at groove ng songs nila. And this song is number one for quite a long time din, until now sa video okay. Released in 2006, here's Beer by Itchy Worms. Do you agree with this list? Comment down below kung may songs akong na-miss. At malay nyo, gawan natin ng part 2 itong 2000s era. And huwag kayong mag-alala kung wala yung awit ng kabataan at songs ng Eraserheads kasi 90s era natin yung pag-uusapan. And hopefully, makagawa din ako ng 2010s era. We'll see. Happy New Year guys. Ako si Pax. Hanggang sa muli, tugtug lang.